in Jacksonville. You're in Jacksonville? Yeah. We, oh, right. Okay. We uh, yeah. moved here a couple, a couple weeks ago, officially. But we just we just got his stuff. So. Ah, like the movers? It, yeah, so the movers didn't get here, and that was a whole thing. They, I think the first scheduled date was last Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Tuesday or Wednesday. Mm-hmm. It is currently the following Tuesday. Mm-hmm. This is the experience package of being someone else. It's Elizabeth. Yep. Um, you had homework last night. Yeah. Yeah, because for some reason I decided to sign up for a full-time job that also requires me to take two grad-level classes taught by the people at my full-time job, and I have weekly homework that I have to do after work. Thumbs up. Yeah. That was a good one on my part. I mean, people I, I do... Like, I like it. I'm not knocking it, but also I'm tired. I was going to say, people do a master's while they're at work, but yours is specifically integrated into it, which almost makes it harder, as opposed yeah. to taking, like, a business class every six months or something, you know? Yeah, I mean, only the first two classes are integrated into it. Like, so it's six credit hours. Um, but I just take it because I already have my master's and they don't let you get another one. Um, well, I mean, you could, but not through the program. Um, you could just do like tuition reimbursement through the company. But that's also smart. Anyway, we'll get back to my day. Just been the mess. Which, uh, Anyway, so I, and I'm going to forget things, too. So the movers were supposed to come last week, and every day they kept saying the scheduled delivery is the next day. Until Sunday, they said, scheduled delivery is for Sunday. So we wait around all day, because you have to be here when they deliver it. Otherwise, they put it into short-term storage, which makes it all complicated. And So um, we wait around all day. They never called. We called them, but it's a Sunday. You know, so people don't work on Sundays, I guess. Yeah. Um, they never delivered. And then we called Monday and they're surprised. I guess the uh, customer service agent was surprised that they didn't deliver it mm-hmm. on Sunday. So she says, oh, well, they'll definitely do it today. Yeah. They didn't do it. To, they didn't do it Monday. And now we're on Tuesday. And she said, okay, they'll definitely do it. Or maybe she didn't say, maybe she said they'll definitely do it Tuesday. I think she said they'll definitely do it Tuesday between 9 and 10.30 a.m. So like an mm-hmm. hour and a half window. Um. We wait throughout the whole window. They don't come this morning at 10.30 or maybe like around 11. They call and they say, oh, we'll be there at 2. I'm down in Tampa. I'm driving through Gainesville now. Okay. Which for non-Florida residents, Tampa, Gainesville is like between Tampa and and Jacksonville. Gainesville is about like an hour and a half away. It's like the middle. (laughs) Yeah, Gainesville is like like an hour and a half away from Jacksonville. At 2 o'clock, he's like, oh, I'm going through Gainesville. So that, you know. Or, yeah, and he was already supposed to be here at 2, by the way. And at 2, he's already saying, oh, I'm still in Gainesville. Mm-hmm. So he doesn't show up until 5, which, again, do the math. That's, like, twice as long as it should take to get here. Um, he shows up, and he's got a whole posse. Uh, they're blocking the – they're parked in like on, like, a side street, but it's kind of a high-traffic side street, so they're blocking a lot of traffic and – they turn a two-way street into a one-way street, basically, and that's kind of a mess. Um, a lot of the stuff is, I mean, some of the stuff was not in good condition, but it's arguably more broken. We're missing several items of furniture, either that it got lost or the guy admitted giving away a couple chairs to someone else. <laughs> He's like, yeah, they had chairs very similar, so I just gave it to them. So you're not getting those. Pairs to someone else. What moving yeah. company is this? <laughs> I don't even know what the moving company is. That's another kind of scandal. Is there's like three different yeah there's like three different names, um, and also like the people that picked up his stuff in Texas weren't the same people that delivered his stuff. Like it gets passed around. 
and there's several different agents that you walk, go through to talk through them. Um, so yes, that's yeah. a that's, the I, situation. I believe it because when I was moving, the two moves so far I've done for work. The first move I had, I mean, it was a lot better situation, but I had different movers. Allegedly, it was like the same company, but it's like I have my first agent that I talk to, and that agent is the person who, like, organizes everything on, like, the company side. Then then that agency contracts out the move to a different agency, and that's, like, the actual moving agency. But then the moving agency that they contracted me to the first time also contracts other local movers. So the people who picked it up at my house were not the same people who dropped it off at my apartment, but then for my last move, the, like, agency that contracts with my work contracted that literally it was the same guy driving the truck. It just so happened that I got the same guy picking it up in Greenville and dropped it off up here. Yeah, that, that, whole, that whole process sounds very similar to uh, what Owen has gone through. Just like, there, there seems to be a lot of jobs in... Uh, people answering phone calls and not having information. Okay. There's a large workforce. So anyway, the setup I am in right now, you would never believe. Um, what is that? I know it, it looks like an ordinary setup uh, for yeah. our listeners. Um, there's like a there's a window. This is a door actually. Elizabeth is doing yoga now. So, you know, <laughs> I'm stretching. I had to take a. A stretch break here. Um, she's sprawled out on the ground. <laughs> I needed this. Um, long day? Fix some piping and put in a new rotometer. It's like climbing inside of it. Basically, we have these like facility things that I work on sometimes, and they're like boxes, and but all, all the tubing and wiring and all the stuff is on the inside. So, like, The one I was working on today only has one door that opens on, like, the short side of it. I needed to reach something, like, down the long side. So I was just, like, on, like, my knees because I couldn't sit on, like, my, like, little rolly stool. Reaching into this thing, trying to reassemble stuff. I don't know. It was fine. Yeah. I, I, okay. So back to the the the, the average looking corner. Uh, there's a strange noise going on right now. Okay. Do you want me to? I'm just gonna go investigate. <laughs> uh, so the average looking corner looks average. I'm tempted to show you the mess that's happening. So I am actually. There's a coffee table next to me that we bought like a couple days ago. So that's, okay. That I have my dessert on. I have uh, like a bin, like a plastic bin that I'm resting my laptop on, but it's not like flat. So I have a baking sheet on top of that, and then I, you know, it's kind of dirty. So I put a paper towel down on top of that. So to recap, I have my laptop on a paper towel on a baking sheet on a plastic bin on the floor. Like 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 a laundry basket plastic bin. No, like a like a storage bin, like you'd buy. Yes. Okay, yeah. Like a rectangular bin that you store stuff in. Because we don't have any chairs, so I have to sit on the ground. This is wood floor, so I'm actually sitting on a blanket. Um, and the rest of the, the rest of the apartment, let me see if I can turn around. It's just kind of a mess of uh, things, things in, in boxes and wrapped up. And, and wow. That's, a, that's the situation I'm in. The movers so, really did dirty there. Not a good idea. Yeah, not not ideal. Um. So that's uh. That's where we're at. We're trying to wash the linens tonight because we finally have a bed. Wash what tonight? Oh, wash the linens. I'm there. So we finally have a bed. Oh, I think his shoe rack is broken as well. Yeah, that's done. It's like missing a piece. So. Like a like half like a half of it. Good, good. But, uh, All good. Things. But eventually they did they did show up. So 
Yeah, at least they brought that happened um, to one of my coworkers. He and I both got up here, and my movers delivered my stuff, and his movers just did not for like another week. Yep. Yep, he had the same thing, one of his other coworkers. They got it delivered like for 10 days. It was, they got everything. It was super easy. It showed up when they showed up. Whereas this is like the whole thing. Because I guess they wanted to go to Tampa before the hurricane hit. But that timing doesn't really work out because they were supposed to deliver like four days ago. Yeah, I feel like at that point it's just another excuse as to like, why they were delayed. Yeah. Maybe so they, they went to Tampa this like, morning. Tampa, so that it was like more. Oh, and. Because the guy wanted to get out of Florida. Oh. Yeah. So in Jacksonville, things are going to be not as bad, right? If they, they shouldn't get. It'll be like. I'm leaving tomorrow, but. Um, yeah, oh. like a bad storm. Okay. There won't even be a hurricane anymore. I think it'll be a, technically a tropical storm by then. Because it's so far inland and it's basically going to travel. Well, assuming. It, you know, yeah, assuming it follows it. the predicted path. It's, it's predicted to basically just ride all the way up, like, from, like, Fort Myers and Tampa area through Florida. So by the time it gets to Jacksonville, it won't, you know, Jacksonville, Georgia, South Carolina area won't be anything. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that, it might be ruined by the thin plant, so we'll see. Which plant? I'm sorry. Um, so, well, I'm... You would think, Elizabeth, why why would a hurricane in Florida ruin your weekend plans in New York City? Because the person I'm supposed to go to New York City with lives in Gainesville. Maybe the movers picked him up. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, should have gotten the movers to pick her up and just drop her off up here or something. Uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll see what happens with that. The flights, it might work out. Um... She's flying out of Orlando, and Orlando Airport, as of now, says pending storm and damage assessment. They might fly people out Friday. So. For this weekend? Yeah. Yeah, Friday. Yeah, it might be fine by then, assuming they can get everything. Yeah, really, uh, it's really just a wait-and-see-what-happens kind of deal. So, yeah, but... For all the people who love energy and power and the fact that you were using power to listen to this right now, I went to a power plant on Friday, and it was super neat. It was a combined cycle power plant, which is basically where you have a gas turbine and a steam turbine and a generator. Um, This one specifically had a generator for each one. So, like, it was so cool. It was so neat. You can come to my power plant whenever you want. I know, that's right. I want to see the... Do you guys have a... Our, our steam turbine? Do you know? It says GE on it, so okay. I'm going to assume it's your... Yeah, if it says GE. Got a whole GE thing. Then they put their own logo on it, and I'm like, what are you trying to... What are we trying to do here? What are you trying to fool? I got a rug. Yeah, she, look. Yeah, so last time I was there, there was no rug. Er, yeah. No, there wasn't a rug yet. Yeah. I was on the hunt for a rug, but I've since acquired this rug. Did you set up a uh, curtain situation? Yes. Huh. Oh, you got an actual rod. Okay, yeah, I think we ordered that when I was there. Yeah, that's, this is the rod that we ordered. Yeah. And so it works? It came, yeah, it came in and then it sat in the box until Evan came to visit, and then Evan helped me put it up. Now you need height, and probably, you probably do need a second set of hands for that. Yeah, just because it's so long, like it was, it was pretty rough. Although, I mean, he basically ended up putting it up. Like once we kind of figured out where we wanted it, which was more of a two-person job, he put it up by himself, and then um, because it was going up so high. He had to stand on, like, a taller chair, but the most stable taller chair I had would swivel. So I had to stand there and, like, hold the swivel to prevent it from swiveling so that he wouldn't rotate while he was trying to set 
set it up. But the podcast doesn't uh, recommend these safety measures. By yeah, the way. don't do that. Um, Something about don't try this at home. <laughs> yeah, well, for for our listeners, Elizabeth has a very uh, long and narrow sort of living room situation. Mm-hmm. So you basically could be two separate rooms. You've divided it into two. Your yeah. uh, translucent curtains. Yeah, they're sheer, like just like a tool fabric for those of you who really care about fabric type. Yeah. So I have kind of like a desk, lounge, office space with a bean bag, and then my living room on the other side. It's working out pretty well for me. Well, for your, your homework and stuff like that. Yeah. 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 A reading area. Because I kind of said it, like, yesterday when I was doing my homework. I sat at my desk in my other little room, and it felt like a separate space to put on my homework. Yeah, and you can have a party on the other side of the room. Yeah, I wouldn't hear it at all. <laughs> Through the thick Soundproof curtains. Your curtains. <laughs> yeah. That's a thought. Could something be... I think something could be translucent and soundproof. Maybe? Yeah, why not? Yeah, It'd have to be very heavy. Yeah. Like... I I don't know enough about uh, soundproof materials. Yeah, so that's that's uh. Go ahead. Okay, I'm trying to think about like what else I have going on. Like, I would talk more about the power plant, but I'm not sure how much I'm allowed to say. Like, what's considered power knowledge and like what's not. Um, I'm sure you could talk about it. I, I find that a lot. Of, like, like, what are people going to do? Yeah, I mean, so actually one thing that I did find rather interesting about this specific site that we visited, it's called um, the Valley. And part of their, like, commissioning mission was that they bought, like, 200-something acres of land. And the actual site is on, like, I don't know, maybe 20 it's it's not that much, but um, the rest of it, apparently prior to it being a power plant, it was like a car tire manufacturing plant and then like a light bulb manufacturing plant. So there was a lot of just kind of like trash and bad stuff from the kind of like aftermath of those because they were all, I don't know, you know, back before the EPA was there and preventing people from doing bad things in manufacturing so they actually reclaimed a lot of that area, like wilderness, like they did like reclaimed wilderness and have like repopulated it with native wildlife and plants. So that's actually pretty cool. And then another thing that I thought was pretty interesting and unique about it is they run on well water. So they have like a well and they have a limit of, I think, hmm, I want to say like 20 something thousand gallons a day that they're allowed to pull. It's like a flow rate. That's like, it's like a limiting flow rate of how much they can pull, which goes to about 20 something gallons, 20 something thousand gallons of water. But I think on a good day, they say they operate at like 8 to 11 thousand. Now, this is one of the plants that just has GE's equipment. Just your turbines and all that sort yeah. of stuff. Yeah, they're just using our, like, No other affiliation. It's not our plant, but yeah. they let us come visit because it's our turbine. Science. Um, let's just get my blanket for it. Uh, that's, yeah, well water. I guess there's no lake nearby. Is that what you're kind of getting at? No. They said that, um, like, when the well like, dried up one time, they had to, like, truck water in because there's not a lake in the area. But I thought that was pretty neat. And then they also have to do a lot of um, water treatment because of that. They said the well water that they're pulling is not great yeah. for what they need you know, to, to demineralize it. So. Yeah, we, we use lake, my nuclear plant uses lake water, but then we also take city water and we run it through a reverse osmosis skid and do a whole thing. 
to get like super clean water that we can put in the reactor, basically, the makeup water for the reactor. So yeah, you can't just put any kind of water in. Yeah, you can't just put the like tap water. In, so. <laughs> Not to play. I imagine so. but there's like a lot of more chemistry they need to get through. And I'll have to get the photo. Um, one person took a picture of me there with my hard hat, my safety glasses, and all my PPE in front of the turbines. That was kind of neat. Women in STEM moment. Uh, you don't you don't wear that stuff every day. Uh, I wear, I don't wear, I wear everything except for the hard hat. I don't have to wear a hard hat where I work. Stuff that nothing could fall on your head? No. But, but it's not like there's like a bunch of stuff over me, you know? I feel like if I knock something off the shelf, like a cabinet. I feel like I hit my head like every, at least once every day, probably twice every day. Just hit it once. I feel like I was more prone to hitting my head while wearing the hard hat. So I was like, haha. Yeah, well, it Mom. adds like an extra yeah, it's like six a inches to your head. Yeah, or so, maybe four <laughs> inches or so. And so I need to plug my laptop in. But yeah, no, it was I'm wearing my chip shirt. <laughs> yeah, for our listeners, she's wearing a chip shirt. Uh, she's plugging her laptop, so now I have to, I have to freestyle. Um, I'm just gonna like make noises until I get back. Yeah. Well, for our ASMR listeners, Elizabeth is crawling around her rock. I'm once again rolling around on the ground. Yeah. There's there's several pillows now for extra support. So I went to Target and I bought these paper bats. And I don't know where I should put them. I don't understand what this is. It's it's literally just like bats. Like oh, okay. I, it it almost looked like it was like a banner or something. That's why oh, I was like, yeah. I don't I, know. What I think it was like they just decided to you know show it like how it could be displayed on like a stairwell. Okay, I understand the concept now. So these yeah. are actually just like cutouts. Yeah, they're just it's just cut out the bats, and it's, I think it's just two sizes of the bat silhouettes. But I don't know, it just looked so fun, and it was, like, less than a dollar, so. Um, dollar store finds, kids. This is, uh, this is how you decorate your, your place on a budget. Um, I, I don't know. I also bought some, well, so I also bought some gourds at the farmer's market on Sunday, which honestly was, like, a steal, because it was three gourds for two fifty. Is that a steal? I Let's mean, call it a steal. I mean... I don't know, like, when I would go um, with my family, we would always go to the pumpkin farm growing up on Indigenous People's Day. Uh, good, good, good catch there. Good catch. I don't have a catch. I didn't even say uh, his old name. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know how much a gourd usually is. I don't buy them. But I feel like Bird's Pumpkin Farm is probably, like, overpriced because everybody wants to go there. Yeah. But also at the same time, I'm going to pay it because I want to go to Bird's Pumpkin Farm. <laughs> okay. so yeah, I don't think yeah, you can put- like eat. So I actually, so I got one gourd that's like very orange. It's like orange and then like light orange stripies, and then one that's like orange and green, and it has like all like the bumpies on it, so it looks like it has warts. And then I got a little tiny baby pumpkin that's white. Are you going to put these, like, on your countertop, or... Yeah, they're on my countertop. Yeah, I see. They're right there on my countertop right now. So I was thinking, if you kind of look, there's, like, that pillar kind of thing. So yeah. I was like, maybe I should put the bats on there. Oh, like, right going up the pillar? Yeah, going up the pillar. So it's, like, a little fall, spooky Halloween corner kind of deal. That could be your holiday corner. You could put a little mini Christmas tree there. Yeah. And for seeing this could be this could be a thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I think that'll work. Yes. Yeah, I think it would. I'm 
participating. I don't think I would host like a Halloween party. So Halloween is actually, I think it's on a Monday this week. So, it is on a Monday. Yeah. But we talked about it with my like coworkers that are all in my cohort of program, and I think we're gonna dress up as a Mystery Incorporated. Didn't you do? Oh, we did that. Yes, <laughs> Didn't that. you do that? <laughs> you and I did that. That's why I smiled when I said it. Cause I was like, "You gonna pick up on it?" <laughs> it's like that sounds familiar. You, you did. It. Oh yeah, we did it. That was a great costume. I probably still have that photo. Actually, it was a really good costume. Like, I think we really nailed it. We did. Ra- Rachel's was the weakest. We knew that, but uh, was it? Okay, I'm kidding. I don't know. <laughs> I think we all kind of, like, did a really good job. Yeah, no, it was pretty good. Only we had had someone to be Scooby-Doo, but it was okay. I thought we had a, we had something. Did we have, like, a cutout? Yeah, we had, like, a little paper printout in Andrew's bracket of Scooby-Doo. Yeah, Scooby-Doo. Yeah, this one, there's eight of us, so there's more people than there are characters. Gosh. Well, you could do, like... I'm trying to think of recurring. There aren't really any recurring characters. Yeah, so if you have any ideas, this is what we're currently thinking. So, main four like people, and then Scooby-Doo, Scrappy-Doo, and then let's see, so main four, Scooby-Doo, Scrappy-Doo, and then we have two more. So we were thinking Mystery Machine and Scooby Snacks. I don't know, I feel like there's another, isn't there another recurring character in the universe? I think of one. Or like recognizable character. You could, you could, you could always dress up as like the classic villains. Yeah, that was the other thought. It was like one of us could be like the minor 49er or the the ghost of Captain whatever, or, like, the guy in the, like, suit with, like, the little... Yeah. Or the Black Knight. Yeah. That's, that's another, well, I was going to say the Knight. Yeah, the Black Knight. That's another classic one. You could do, like, a classic villain if you had to. Yeah. But I think that Mystery Machine could be good. I'm 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 the Mystery Machine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that one could be creative. Because, Is yeah, so my thought... Okay, you can tell me what you think, and then the listeners can weigh in if they so desire. One school of thought is, like, jeans, and then find, like, a cute, vintage like, just Scooby-Doo-themed t-shirt or sweatshirt, or, like, long sleeve shirt, and then have, like, a my, like, little cardboard box that I, like, make into the mystery machine that I wear around, and then the other idea is same thing with the cardboard box, but I wear all teal clothes and then, like, put, like, flowers on it and stuff. Which I think would be more fun, but it really just depends on me finding the right color clothes. You can always buy those. You can buy a, t- a plain T-shirt. Yeah, I guess that's true. So maybe like teal pants would be tough. Yeah. But so even I, then, I feel like they should I be like yoga pants. Black jeans. I feel like it's the tires. Oh. Yeah, Scooby Snacks feels easy because I think they sell. Don't they sell like graham crackers? Scooby Snacks? Yeah. So I was, like, going to order some and then, like... You just tape it to your body. Yeah. Or or you could dress as one fake Scooby Snack. Yeah, dress just like a dog. Would you do it for a Scooby Snack? Would you do it for two Scooby Snacks? (laughs) They were really food motivated. Yeah. I don't know if it's healthy. Well, I mean, they also will, like, I don't know how two Scooby Snacks is, like, a oh, well, when you yeah. eat those, like, giant sandwiches, you know, like, five seconds before, you're like, this is, like, nothing compared to... You gotta wonder what it's really, what it really means, you know? I mean, I, I don't, I'm not gonna get too deep into, like, what it actually means, but it's a, it's a, it's a drug, it's a drug thing. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you have to? You know, For our listeners, drugs. <laughs> it's my naughty impression. So. 
Oh my goodness. Today at work, there were just, so me and the intern on my team, basically, so we were working on like an erosion test or something, you know, testing the hardness of a material. And the erosion agent we're using is like a white powder. <laughs> And there was just white powder everywhere. And I was, like, sweeping it off the table. And the intern just looks at me and goes, there's a cocaine joke in there somewhere. He's like, I'm surprised you didn't put it up into a line. And then for the rest of the day, like, whenever the powder would, like, go everywhere, he would just look at me and we would just die laughing. It was so funny. It It was a good day. Good day of jokes. Professionalism. Okay. The intern is just a small BB. He is 20 years oh. old. Oh, yeah. It's not that compared to your mature age. Compared to me, yeah. I'm an old lady now. Well, yeah. Uh, happy three week old birthday. Three, three and a half. Four? I guess it's four. I said, I said, I said. Um, I don't know. It's somewhere in there. Yeah. You're now as old as I am for a couple months. I'm catching up. Older than I am. Uh, I don't want to update my Skype. Well, update your Skype. Uh, okay, we can wrap it up. I know you gotta go. It's getting late for you. You said too late. Yeah, I gotta go to bed early because yeah, I gotta wake up and be functional. Yeah. Oh, it's not as late as our casino night. I'll tell you about one. I won't imagine. But, but anyway, um, yeah, I'll see you in a couple weeks, I guess. Hopefully. There is work is causing me problems. We will talk Uh-oh. about that offline. Okay, offline. All right. Well, thanks for uh, coming on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. That's so foreboding. So sorry, everyone. Maybe we can just cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>